pH is a logarithmic scale used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of a chemistry in solution. The pH scale runs from 1 on the acidic end all the way to 14 on the basic end. A pH of 7 is considered neutral. Every dissolved chemistry in the universe has a pH, and every living organism has cells or metabolic systems that function best at certain pH ranges. Maintaining proper soil pH is critical for plant health for a variety of reasons, but most directly, pH has a profound influence on nutrient availability in the soil. As the pH of a soil shifts too acidic or too alkaline, nutrients begin to lock up or become unavailable. Knowing your soil's pH is important because an acidic or alkaline soil environment could neutralize your valuable fertilizer inputs. So, to get the most out of your fertilizer investment and assure a healthy looking lawn, balancing your pH is key. A neutral soil pH unlocks the nutrients in your soil, making them more easily absorbed by your turf. Take a look at the chart entitled The Influence of Soil pH on Nutrient Availability. From nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, all the way through the secondary and micronutrients, note that nutrient availability for the majority of nutrients is maximized when the pH is between 6.5 and 7. Not surprisingly, most cool and warm season turf grasses perform best when the soil pH is between 6.5 and 7. In reality, almost no one will have an untouched, perfectly ideal soil on their property. Most soils could stand to benefit from at least a few minor adjustments, and the only way to know exactly what your soil needs in order to optimize growing conditions is to perform a soil test. A soil test helps agronomists, greenkeepers, lawn care operators, and property owners determine which soil amendments and nutrients to add and how much. Without soil test data, applicators can only guess what to apply or not to apply based on visual cues from the soil and overall plant vigor. There are many laboratories, university ag extensions, and county offices that offer soil testing services. These days, you can have a comprehensive test done, or in some cases, pick only the test you need a la carte to save money. A complete panel of standardized tests typically includes all of the following data. Macronutrient content, often with fertilizer recommendations. Micronutrient content, again, often with fertilizer recommendations. Other element or ion content. Heavy metal content. pH. Cation exchange capacity with computed percent cation and saturation. Excess lime rating. Soluble salts content. Particle size analysis often with soil texture interpretation, and organic versus inorganic matter content. If you're new to reading a soil test, it can feel overwhelming at first. Soil conditions and climate can help you make good decisions regarding the appropriate application rate of fertilizers and soil amendments, and save you a lot of money and potential headaches.